case. Case is really interesting. It's one of those that what it does, it's like a case statement in any other language. It evaluates a list of conditions and returns one result. In this one, and then there's really two different ways of formatting the case. And in this one, this is more like an if statement, actually, where we're saying case when revenue is greater than average revenue, then do this, else do that, and ends. It's a, in this case, it really is an if statement that's being run as a case. But, and there's two different ways you can format it. One is what's just the when and then and an else. Or in this case, it's more like a real case statement where we're saying when, uh, and this would be looking at polygons, where if we're looking at a polygon with one point, one corner effectively, and maybe corner is not the right thing when we're talking about points, but one is a point, two creates a line, three gives us a triangle, four gives us a square, and so on. Uh, otherwise, anything beyond that, we, we throw back the else of null. If the variable corners, so case of corners, let me jump back to the previous one. In the previous, oops, previous slide, we had case blank when an expression. And in this one, we have case of something when it's a solid, when it's an actual value. So two different ways you can do it. You can leave the case empty and put in a comparison on each one of those or expression, or you can just pass in a variable that gets checked on each line going through. So I'm going to drop the database and recreate it, and I'm going to put a table in the database called revenue. And in here, this will have revenue numbers where the first quarter or first column is a department, the second column is an amount of a revenue, and the third column is a year. So we have department one, two, and three for years 1999 through 2012. We'll use that in just a moment, but let's take a look first at the case statement we saw on the slide with the point. So when, when we run this, we're going to declare a variable called corners. We're going to set it to six and run this select statement. I would expect that if it works correctly, we'll get back a hexagon, which is a six-sided object. Run that, we get back hexagon. Three, get back triangle. It just It's a good way to show here's how the case statement works. Let's take a look at another example here. What we're going to do is assume that we wanted to display an indicator to see which departments were above the average revenue. So let's select out here, uh, and we're just going to do the windowing function, average revenue, partitioning by department ID. Which For department one, it shows the average revenue of 35355 For department two, it shows the average revenue of 41400 And For department three, 56000 Basic windowing function. But how would you go about saying, is this revenue column here greater than or less than the average revenue that's calculated out in this other column? Well, the way we can do that is with a case statement. But I don't want to put the, the aggregate function with the windowing inside of our case statement. So what I did is I initially wrapped the query inside of a drive table or a subquery. So if we just run the inner part, we get the same results back. That windowing function is being put into a column called average revenue, or alias is average revenue. And then we're going to say when the revenue case, when the revenue is greater than the average revenue, then our result will be a string called better than average. Else, it'll be a string called not better. And that'll go into a column called ranking. When we run the results there, we now get out in the side here, not better or better than average. Now, you'll notice the way I phrased that was better or not better. I didn't phrase it as better or worse. Not better includes the case where it's equal. So if you wanted to go in and do a calculation that said, is it equal to the average? Is it greater than the average? Or is it less than the average? You'd have to use case when and put in multiple whens and thens to get that calculated out. That's the quick and dirty overview of the case statement you want to use.